Hey boo! In this video, I am going to do a review of the full line of L'Oreal's curly hair care line called Curl Expression, okay? So this video is not sponsored. I just got my hands on these products and I was super interested to try it out, especially because this is the first curly hair care line from L'Oreal. And trust me, girl, this was interesting. <laughs> Keep on watching to see what happens. So L'Oreal came out with a full line for curly hair actually a while ago but when they came out with this line I was pregnant with my second baby and girl let me tell you the scent of these products is so strong it threw me off so bad at that time and it gave me a headache but also keep in mind when you're pregnant you can get nausea over literally anything so maybe that's why okay but that's the reason why I didn't want to try these products at that time at all the scent is not bad but it's just very perfumey and that's not really my thing okay so let's just start off with the first product um i'm starting off with washing my hair and they have two shampoos this is the first one this is the moisturizing shampoo and i'm gonna wash half of my head with this one um this is a moisturizing cleansing cream and to be honest it did feel good on my hair and not stripping at all. It really got rid of the product buildup while making sure my hair was not feeling super stripped and dry. And I really like that. Um, I got a thing for moisturizing shampoos and this one definitely passed the test, okay? The next shampoo is this anti buildup jelly cleansing system. So this has a jelly-like consistency. And first I was like, ugh, this is going to strip my hair so bad because I feel like clear shampoos always tend to be clarifying and stripping. But honestly, girl, this shampoo definitely caught me off guard by, by how gentle it is. It's non-stripping at all very moisturizing and it cleansed my hair amazingly okay so when i compare the two shampoos i feel like the jelly one is even more gentle than the moisturizing cleansing cream shampoo so yeah the jelly one is just perfect for those wash days where you know your hair needs a gentle wash but still want to get rid of the buildup so yeah these shampoos are definitely worth it <laughs> like l'oreal always says so now it's time to condition and detangle my hair and they actually have two hair masks again one is the rich formula and one is the regular formula and i'm going to use the rich version first and this is for curls and coils and is an intensive moisturizing mask and honestly this is just what i need the texture is very thick and creamy and has like this luxurious feel which i really like and then on the other side of my head, I am going to use the other hair mask and it has a less thick consistency, but it's still creamy. Um, honestly, the masks are very similar and I didn't really notice a difference in between the two other than the texture, okay? They are both moisturizing indeed. The slip is very good, by the way. And I was able to detangle my hair with both products extremely well. Um, and when I rinsed out the mask, my hair was feeling soft, hydrated, moisturized. My curls were defined. Um, overall, my hair was just feeling amazing, okay? Uh, this process was very positive. I loved the shampoos. I loved the conditioners. Um, they work very well for my dry curls, and I needed this. I needed this moisturizing treatment, gentle shampoo, cleansing, moisturizing treatment, whatever, but yeah. These products were definitely a hit for me. So this is all the shedding that I got from detangling in the shower. And mind you, I didn't do a pre-poo or anything. I didn't detangle my hair before I washed my hair. So the shedding was very minimal. But I'm going to tell you more about that in another video. Why my shedding has decreased drastically. Okay, I have the magic formula. But stay tuned. <laughs> but this is my hair after a conditioning and girl, like... I'm super, super happy with how my hair is feeling right now. So this full line review is off to a good start. So I cannot wait to try out their styling products.
So now on to the styling process and they have a bunch of different styling hair products. So I'm going to try them all. The only product that I don't have is this jelly cream or defining jelly or whatever. Um, so yeah, the first product that I'm going to use on my hair to re-wet my hair is their professional caring water mist. And this is considered as a curls reviver leave-in, okay? <laughs> the first thing that I'm noticing is that it's again very perfumey and maybe that's just me but I just don't like my leave-in hair products to be very perfumey sometimes it can give me a headache it's very overwhelming so yeah uh, but you know first impressions of this product um, it just feels like a water spray nothing special not really moisturizing or curl reviving or anything it's just a simple spray with a very strong perfume scent so to me this is not a leave-in at all for my hair maybe this helps for someone with wavy or straight hair but i am definitely not impressed <laughs> of this product at all so next up to moisturize this is going to be interesting i'm going to use this 10 in 1 professional cream in mousse so this is a multi-benefit leave-in treatment with heat protection that should moisturize hydrate and define your hair times 11 without leaving any residue okay so the texture is very interesting it starts as a mousse but then when you rub it in it transforms in a creamy lotion so it feels very lightweight actually and i like that but honestly i wasn't impressed with this product at all again because my hair just needs something heavier and creamier that's just my hair. Maybe if you have a loose curl pattern or thinner hair than mine, this product would work better. But yeah, I don't know. It didn't really do anything. Um, my curls did look a bit defined, but it doesn't feel that moisturized at all. So yeah, it's just strange. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just don't know about this product. It didn't really do much other than define, but not really moisturized like a thick cream should. Okay, so the next product is, um, again, super interesting. It's a drying accelerator leave-in spray with heat protection. Okay, so this is a leave-in treatment that is supposed to speed up the drying process with 37% while nourishing your hair <laughs> it sounds crazy and incredible but honestly it did nothing to my hair this just feels like a drying hairspray with a very strong perfume scent that i don't like so my hair didn't feel extra moisturized or dried faster than usual so yeah i didn't get the benefits of that um so for the other side of my head i'm going to use a different styling process i'm still going to use my water mist my caring water mist to refresh my hair but for styling I'm using this long-lasting intensive leave-in moisturizer with heat protection again I don't know what about the heat protection all the time but yeah all of these products have heat protected in it um, interesting but okay um, so the consistency is a very smooth creamy texture and feels luxurious which I like and I could immediately tell that this that this product has a good amount of slip um, it did feel like I needed a lot of product to make my hair feel moisturized, but it did have some slip. So more slip than other products. So that was a good thing. Um, yeah, unfortunately I didn't get my hands on the curling jelly. Um, but yeah, should have tried that out as well. That's the only product that I don't have. Okay. So I always keep this brace in for a few days. You guys know the drill <laughs> as a protective style. And this time I unraveled my hair and wore my hair as a braid out um, after seven days. So this is seven days later. And the side that I'm unraveling now is the side where I styled my hair with the mousse, the cream in mousse product. And girl, it just felt like I just styled my hair with water. My hair was feeling dry not moisturized at all the mousse did nothing to my hair when it came to moisturizing and hydration and now i'm unraveling the side where i use the um, intensive conditioner leave-in treatment and it did feel better than the mousse side so 
it looks okay it doesn't look bad my hair looks fine but it doesn't feel fine especially the mousse side it feels very dry and crusty uh, with the dryer spray and the mousse and then the other side the intensive uh, moisturizer it was not a hit for me at all I tried way better products than that so that's definitely not my go-to but what I did like about this line was the shampoos and the hair masks those were incredible those were amazing so yeah this video was definitely a roller coaster emotion in the beginning i was so so happy and excited but honestly i accepted a lot from l'oreal and these products didn't meet my expectations at all i don't know it's just a no it's just a no for me so i hope in the future they come out with another line for curly girls because i would love to try that as well and see how it's different than this line okay so yeah thank you for watching my review and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye